Hello it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some heart earrings. Let me show you. These are stunning steampunk detailed coggy hearts and the earrings pad. This is a pair of heart earrings made using two new stamps from Lavinia Stamps and they're rather lovely detailed hearts. Really lovely. So much that you can do with them as far as working with colour. But enough chat from me, let me show you how it's done. Right, so first of all, we're going to start with stamping. So we're going to need Sizzix shrink plastic. And remember, we work on the white matte side, not the shiny side. You're going to need some archival ink, jet black, and the large heart stamp. And the small heart stamp too. So remember to just push down and let the ink do the work. Fabulous. Look at that. Jobs are good. Un. And we'll do another one because they come in pairs, you see. And then that first one, first mini heart, I wasn't that chuffed with that, so I'm going to do another two. Here we're going in for the second one. Dum, da, da. Superb. And we're going to add the loop. Now, usually I would say draw around the top of a Posca pen, but why do we need to do that when we have all these lovely cogs? So this is one of the small cogs, or it might even be a rivet. But you can choose which one you want. I've chosen one that looks rather like a car tyre with spikes. And I'm just going to cut some of the weight of that shrink plastic off so that it's easier for me to get round my little shapes. There's no fussy cutting with this. It's quite simple to cut around, which is fab. And we're going to colour the hearts now. So I'm going to go in with some acrylic spray, cranberry red, except that wasn't. That was sun yellow. <laughs> Other way round and some bright white. Now the bright white just helps to calm it down a bit, you know, stop it from being quite so dark. And I've got some, on the mini hearts, the Chartreuse acrylic spray and some sun yellow and I'm going to put some white again and I'm just going to dab some of that colour off. And you can see if I put it on white that there is still some colour there. And that colour will intensify as it shrinks. I promise. <laughs> so I'm going to use some Posca and some stickles on this. And I'm using all that detail as my guide. Now that black Posca pen has gone into the centre so that when I hole punch it, it vanishes. The extra little bits vanish. Now, can you see this? This is lime green stickles. There's a beautiful line with a swirl at the end on this stamp and I'm following that line with the stickles and once they shrink you know what they, they're just they catch the light and they almost look like a metallic thread stunning jobs are good and on that one now Posca dots so this is where we're going to go in with a variety of Posca colors and I've chosen the glittery ones so this is the glittery red Posca pen and there's a whole load of like honeycomb around the outside of this stamp, of the heart stamp. And I'm literally filling in some dots of that honeycomb with the red. And I will do the same with the other colours as well. No rhyme or reason to it. Dot where you feel comfortable dotting. Take your lead from what's already on that stamp. You know there's some texturing round the top and in the inside of that heart. Just use what's there. And I'm going in with a glittery orange Posca pen.
there I am. Okay, and you're just trying to add subtle changes to the colour, really. And this is the glittery pink Posca pen, sorry. And again, I'm just adding a few little bits here, there and everywhere, sort of in blocks. And finally, the glittery yellow Posca pen, my old favourite. And I'm just colouring in those cogs to, to help them not disappear once I shrink them down. Okay, a little bit of white Posca just for highlighting. What I would say is use white Posca sparingly because when it shrinks, white Posca tends to be the one that is glaringly obvious and hasn't necessarily shrunk down as well as everybody else. I don't know why. Just likes to be centre stage. So going, this is the smaller hearts now and I've got the Posca gold Posca pen and I'm using that for our cogs. And a few little dots and some of the glittery green Posca pen. When you see them as pale as they are now and we shrunk them, it's really amazing how the colour works. If you think it's too wet or you, you want to take some off, just blot it with some kitchen paper. And this is the Posca pen apple green, which I obviously need to get a new one because it would appear I'm running out. Well, that's not good. Can't run out of Posca pens. So there we go. Just lightening up the Poscas with a little bit of apple green here, there and everywhere. Again, no rhyme or reason following where there is texture and where there are dots to fill. Emma Jo, just leave it alone now. <laughs> Come on, step away. Good. There we go. Question is, oh, we're going in with aqua green. How could I possibly think that I was going to leave aqua green out of the equation? Hmm. Just adding a few highlights. It is quite therapeutic and you do sort of get lost in it, which is fab. I love being able to switch my brain off. Okay. A little bit of stickles doing the same thing. No, we're doing a few dots and then swooshing that round so that the stickles becomes quite dilute so that when we shrink, it'll come together and be quite solid. So I've got my yellow Posca again. And what is it? Shrinking time! There we go. Hole punch it first. I'm using the um, larger one of the handheld punch set. And where I have done that black Posca, I can then use that hole punch as a start to keep my... Um, Shrinking heart. <laughs> it sounds like a bad love song. My shrinking heart from flying off. Wow, look at that. Dinky. Remember, if it doesn't flatten out, turn it over and give it a quick blast from the other side. This one's a flying away. You see what I mean about the colour? How it intensifies. Take it to the edge. What can I mean? Let's have a look. So, the Zig 2 way glue pen has found its way into my hand again. And I'm just popping that around the edge of the heart. 
This is the large red heart I'm doing. Heating it up until the glue gets tacky, a bit like a, a postage stamp or a sticker. And I'm using, what am I using? Gold Fab Foil. Just on that side at the moment. And I'm obviously assessing what I'm going to use on the other side now. So adding some more two-way glue pen on the other side of the heart. Heating that up as before. And which one are we going for? Rose. Fab foil rose. So there's a bit of pink and a bit of gold on this heart. And I think that's rather lovely. And if you think, oh, I can fit a bit of gold in somewhere that the glue hasn't taken the rose, then do it. That's what I did there quickly. And doing the same thing on the other one. Heating it up till the glue gets tacky. There we are. Do you remember me saying if, if there's a bit that the, the rose has missed, try it with the gold. That's what I did again. Heating that up. And it's now tacky enough to take the foil. And just rub that on with your finger, burnishing it, they say. You could use a burnishing tool, or if not, like me, use your fingers or thumb. There we go. So those larger hearts are done. What am I going to do with the green? So again with the two-way glue pen. Heating it up. And what have I used? Gold. Gold foil first and then ice blue. So the first foil that I used on the green one was Fab Foil Gold. And the second foil I used was Fab Foil Ice Blue. It's not quite as deep as teal. But it still has this lovely blue. Couldn't think of what word to say, so I just went with blue. Heating that up till it gets tacky. Going in with the gold fab foil on one side. Oh, and a little bit at the top on the other. You rebel, Emma Jo. And where's my ice blue? Cutting a special bit off for this one. And then I'm just popping it on a hook and I've put a spacer in between just so that it gives a little, allows for a bit of movement. I think that's fab. You did that. Well done. I hope you enjoyed making those. I know I certainly did. And I can see that I'm going to get quite a lot of use out of them because of their rather just classic. Anyway, enough from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed having a go. Um, if you've got any comments you'd like to make about the post, please pop them in the post below. And I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I can. You take care in the meantime, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.